Welcome back in, everybody. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Don't forget, Golf Talk Radio is brought to you by Sundale Country Club, home of the Bakersfield City Open City Championship. For over 30 years, 661-831-5224, sundalecountryclub.com. Also, McPhee's Grill of Templeton, McPhee'sGrill.com, 805-434-3204. Win $25 McPhee's Grill gift cards, whether you participate on the show by calling us here uh, live, 805-903-1974 is the phone number here, 805-903-1974, or participate in our uh, fantasy golf at PGATour.com. Uh, today, we got still have uh, Mr. Dave Shimano on the line. Dave, you still there? You bet. Hey, hey Dave, you're going to love you. this. We were talking during the break, and you especially appreciate this. I know. This. I heard every word. Oh, you did? So what do you th- yeah. isn't, isn't it cool that he has no equipment deal? I mean, you could you could yeah. sign, you could get him, man. You get him with one of your drivers. I think it's the coolest thing that he's excited. Not, at least now, he's turned down all the equipment deals. They're offering him more and more, but he just wants to play with what he in a mixed bag of stuff. What What do you think about that, Dave? I think it's great. I, do. I think it's great too. I, I, I do too, dynamite. man. And you know, because those equipment deals, it's like I'll carry fourteen clubs, I'll carry thirteen or whatever under contract. He he could go to every company. I'll carry two of yours and one of I, yours. Yeah, and three from column B and oh, good. Point. I think it's he dynamite. Could, he could smorgasbord a deal with different companies because yeah. I I just think it's awesome. And you know, the one it did bother me. I read today that Nike won't let him wear red and black on Sundays. And he, that's why he didn't, th- on majors, in majors, because that was Tiger's deal. But, you know, he... he I expected him to see that, uh, uh, to do that. And I heard you during the break, yeah. you were saying that came under contract. And it's that, under that contract. Me. And it does surprise me. So, and good for him for winning in the pink shirt. I mean, I think it's awesome. Awesome. But he did it out of respect to Tiger, not, you know, to, yeah. to mock Tiger or anything. I did right. it out of respect. I want right. to be like Tiger. Everybody, be like Tiger. And he so he can't wear the red and black on on final mm-hmm. rounds and majors. I don't know about all tournaments, but mm-hmm. oh, just geez. come on, guys. What's going on with that? So, uh, you know, I would I would hope that Tiger would say you wear what you want to wear. <laughs> and then you mentioned that Reed's got the headphones he wears. He listens to oh, yeah. one song. Right? Day, I was going to do day of the trivia question, but this is so he always listens to the same song, especially when he's putting. He said that this is what he loves, and this is the song right here. Hmm. That's radioactive. Yeah. Yep. By the Imagine Dragons. Yeah. Because Dave, Dave, I know what Dave's thinking. And I'm, What's that? At least well, I know what I'm thinking. That'll I'd, get you. That'll get you nice and calm down for a round of golf. Well, <laughs> yes. well, I'm also thinking if you listen to the if you listen to the big beat or the bass beat, it yeah. could be his tempo and putting. Oh yeah. It could be. So yeah. if you listen to it, if you play, you hear that boom. <laughs> mic drop from Mike. Mic drop. But um, Mike bang. but uh, you know that could be because if that's what he puts with, that could be that ba- that yeah, get bass, him into that. that could be that bass beat is yeah. His. But you're right. Is you know for me, I'm hearing this loud craziness, and I'd be listening to Barry Manilow or something. But uh, I, I kind of like be picking I on like, Barry Manilow. Anybody? I kind of like listening to loud craziness you do? before I play. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Dude, what I, I don't listen before I play, but um, I don't listen to anything. I I clear my head. I don't. I just kind of zone the out. The wind blowing. Yeah. I love the call. Oh, chirping I of the birds. Did. I love the call. You always listen to music, Dave? Yeah, and what? I would show you used to have a walk band? and if the song was only halfway over, I'd drive around the block. Oh, in your, in your car. I'm thinking, you know, he must have had a, what kind of, he had a big old boom box on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I carried the boom box on my shoulder and, and <laughs> put it with my left hand. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I was a walk but, band uh, age. No, on the Me way, too. of course. I was listening to music that, uh, and it'd be some really bizarre stuff, like Jethro Tull or something. But Ooh. sometimes it just got in my system. And boy, if I played well, I'm listening to it again tomorrow. Do you guys blast music in your car when you're driving? Yes, I do. I oh, bet yeah. my my wife does. I don't. It drives me. I can't. I have to have. I can't, especially I if I get into heavy traffic and things. Yeah. I turn the volume right down. You know, it messes with my focus. I guess. Huh. I especially driving down here to the show. Are early you blasting some? Oh yeah. Yeah, just depends on the. You mood. roll the windows down and put the big bass up. You got your big woofers in the back. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I got my saliva bib. Do you? So when I put my head out the window, you know, my mouth starts my flipping saliva. around. And the saliva goes flying. Yeah, because your head's banging. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> you wear that pillow on your ear. No yeah, you're having a good time. That's, yeah, you know. Got I my... heard you coming in when we got here today. It yeah. was you. Yeah, well, you know how I share songs with you. <laughs> yes. Different songs. We had different songs. I, I share with you that. Oh, I heard. I was listening to a song on the way down. You know. <laughs> It's 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 cool, man. Tom Petty gets, breakdown. 
Breakdown. You, you know there you what, go. You know what's so different about that, Mike, is, God, in the old days, you know, all the older people would say, turn it down. Yeah. And every once in a while, I'll show up over at the course, and the cart kids are out there going, turn it down. <laughs> and so I'm being told by people older and younger wow. than me, too, see, I, turn I, I it picture, down. I picture, see, Dave, I don't know who you are. I would picture you listening to some pretty cool mellow music. That's what I don't know why, but but you're 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 jamming to heavy stuff there, Dave? You're rocking out I'm a- ACDC? Rocker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the... Yeah. High I'm, adrenaline I'm, stuff. I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, probably the too. biggest Zeppelin fan. But, oh, big time. Oh, I was a big Zeppelin but, fan. Uh, I had every album. <laughs> Let's see. They had such but original not names for their albums. Too. They had one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they really had good, like They four. had good names. They had good names. <laughs> four. Four. Four was the best. Physical probably. Graffiti. Four was good. Coda. So. Yep, all those good songs. Hey, Dave, I was going to ask you, uh, uh, we went down on Monday to Monarch and... and uh, Nikki got on the track, man. Yeah, I wish I could have talked to you guys for a minute. I was on my way to a lesson. Yeah, I was I was late, but I got there at the end, and it was really interesting. I don't know if you know about this, but you know we talked about I got that the M three the Taylor made twist face. Oh, okay. I didn't know you got it, but good. Yeah, so I you like it. I've had it for a while. Well, I like it a lot, and then I still have kind of the same shaft as all the way back when I was at Black Lake, and you fitted me for it. It's it's a Rogue uh, shaft. It's a one ten. And it, I was wondering because I hit the I hit the M3 really well, but then I started thinking to myself, if that M3 face twist face is supposed to reduce spin, and then I've got a shaft that really reduces the spin, I'm wondering what my spin rate is on my driver so that I hit it. Whoa. Hit it with. Uh, <laughs> I hit it after. Okay, there it after, went around yeah, again. <laughs> after Nikki, after Nikki hit, I got on there and and Jim measured a couple of mine, and, and my driver RPMs came in at 1900. That's pretty good. Is that good? Or yeah, is that too low? That's pretty good for you. Is that too low? <laughs> for you. That's a, I well, say, no, no, because me, I, I, I don't hit as far as you do, so I need more spin. That'd be horrible for me, but, uh, yeah, that's not bad. So it was, it was landing about 235, 240, rolling out to about 270. Is that good? Yeah, I can see you picking up a lot of roll with that. Okay, so I guess my question is, because I, I don't know, I mean, is that oh, uh, is that something I should change, or is that too low of a spin rate? Are you or? happy with your shot? I'll tell you what, next time you're down the area, let, give me a holler, and I'll uh, we'll pull out mach- machine, and we'll check you out. I actually think that's pretty good. And the numbers, I'll bet you, were a little different than actuality. Uh, Jim's just getting to use, uh, started with that. And uh, you can... Uh, change what kind of ball you're playing, and I'm sure you were hitting range balls. He did. He yeah. did adjust that. He adjusted for the wind and the ball. He did put range ball on it. Yeah. Wow, do you have a wind? Yes. Does it come with a little wind meter? Uh, wind yeah, sock. he normal. Oh, he norm- oh, but it normalized. He flies a sock up there, so like a little airport. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it was a sock. I mean, I adjust for the wind. How do you? How do you hmm. <laughs> Six. You lick on your finger. Yeah, that's what I just up. I just did that. Dave. It's funny you said that. <laughs> he did. I did. He really did. Dave. I did that. But well, uh, maybe this is uh, visual uh, radio. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be given a Dalabi that hard of a time anymore. No, I, no, I, I, I just I've always heard. Again, I'm not. I just heard. I mean, I'm not taking it for that it's all. But I've always heard you wanted around twenty three to twenty five. Hundred on the on the spin rate. Well, it depends. Ground. It depends how hard you're hitting it. If you're only carrying it, I thought you were carrying it farther than that. What was your smash uh, factor? It's his. It's his backswing. What was your smash factor? It is my backswing. Uh, I don't and know. That is a good question. What I don't was, know. What was your smash you remember? factor? I don't remember. Well, you mean, that's a backswing. You call that a backswing? What's your? Smash? I don't have much of a backswing at all. <laughs> I love your little swing, man. A little compact. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, really. Next time you're down. Give me a holler. We'll we'll check it out. Dave, did you notice yesterday when you were working with the kids that I didn't use range balls? I brought you actual golf balls to hit. Did that you? was a wonderful thing. I had to switch my machine back to uh, I know, see? regular golf balls. I was thinking, I brought you some but, good, decent uh, golf no, balls. No, that does make a big difference. And uh, oh yeah, Billy, I got to uh, compliment those kids one more time. They were tremendous. I'm glad to hear that. It's kind of part Thanks. of the stuff that we're trying to instill in young people is great character and and. And those values. So thank you. So you said that made my day. You know, it really did. Just, so. I really enjoyed working with them. They, every one of them, very respectful. And a couple of them were kind of grumpy. I couldn't get a <laughs> smile on their face. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they wanted to do as well as they could, and that was to be expected. Yeah, there's, but, there's, uh, there's, no, they were 
good kids, and uh, not only if, if parents are out there listening, <laughs> they should be very proud yeah. of their kids. Because everyone I worked with yesterday was just super. You know, it's funny you mentioned grumpy because I got more I get to know these kids. Some of these kids are just really quiet, and that and that's who, that's who they are. And uh, oh, so yeah. I always said, how come you're not smiling? Why don't you cheer up a little bit? But the truth is they are happy inside. And I've talked to them offside and say, are you okay? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. They're good. And, and I talk to the parents. That's just that's who they are. That's yeah. just, and that's mm-hmm. cool. And so I'm not trying to change. Yeah. I don't want to change that. So I, but I did. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Why you, you know, because you look so serious right now. And some are tired. It's usually it's Friday. I'm tired. But, but for the most part, that's just who they are, which is cool. Yeah. You know, that's, that, yeah. that's fine. So. It's anyway. awesome you recognize that. Because, yeah. you know, that's, it's hard. sometimes it's hard to, to remember that. You know, yeah. we're all, everybody's individuals. We're all different. And then and obviously it's, different times. It's usually of the week. after a pattern. Now, if you notice somebody that's usually upbeat and then they're, they're not that day, then you know, there's something going right. on. And then you just, you know, you let it go or you talk to them about it offline. But if it's always the case, then you kind of realize, Hey, maybe that's just who they are. And they're coming back and they're happy inside. How cool is that? So but, that's awesome, but, man. Well, Dave, I awesome. can't, you are such a talented man, and I really appreciate all the stuff that you do, and uh, and I can't wait. Were you able to get that c- capture that information so we can email? Because you you had a new system. I've got system. it saved now. I got to figure out uh, because uh, I didn't enter it in a certain way. I did it in kind of a quick fix way, but I do have it saved. I cool. looked at it this morning, and uh, they're all in there. So we can compare um, notes at the end of the session. I believe uh, we can do it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you're the best. You really are. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. So, and do you have anything with uh, slick sticks you want to throw out there? Just buy something, damn it! I need <laughs> I need some new grips, Dave. I, I do you love, have an idea? Okay. I love his slogan: yeah. "Buy something, damn it." That's the, <laughs> <laughs> that is the, that's an honest best slogan right there. That's can Patrick I, Reed. There you go. When can I bring you my clubs? When do you want to? Today. Okay, I've got. Uh, I only have one lesson so far today, and that's in. A little while, so I'll be available, oh, after 12.30, 1 o'clock, something like that. Uh, okay, how late? Did you just give a grunt? You just gave yeah, because I have to be up in North County at, at 12. But All right, well, you guys you guys can yeah. text yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll all on the radio, and you guys are booking appointments. So, Nikki, can I just look at your house? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, David. We'll figure it out. Hey, thank you, guys. Always a pleasure. Sorry I... Uh, Bombed out on you this morning. I was a little. Oh, it's all good, man. That, but... You can. We let you stay in bed this morning for you know another forty-five yeah. minutes to an hour. And you, I know you did the interview from your bed, so, so you can get up now. You can change now. <laughs> nice. Oh, Come goodness, join us next week. Normal. Nowadays, it takes me two, three hours just to get moving. So <laughs> well, there was no way I was going to make yeah, it. Yeah, that's so. okay, man. Come join us next week. All right, yeah. bud. I'll I'll take you up on it. Maybe. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that's what I should have said. New sleeping yesterday. habits. See you, Dave. <laughs> Well, let's hey, see. guys, thank you. Always a pleasure. Have a great day, Nikki. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Dave. Mike, Bye. Bye. Mike, how great is it that our radio show, she's in her booking, told me, so we, can, we, can I come at 1110? Uh, you know, I just bring a different dimension to the show. Yes, you know? I, I'm getting involved in the conversation. Well, it's, uh, it's too funny. This is a pretty funny show. So we're going to take our last break. When we come back. We might have joke around. We might have a whole bunch of other things whatever we're going to pull from the pile here got to remind you guys that uh, golf talk radio is brought to you by mcgowey health group check out dr ryan uh, at 805-461-8822 i need an appointment with him too yeah i do too and uh, you can call him uh, or check him, him out on the web <laughs> let's get him on the phone let's get him on the radio let's get him on the phone <laughs> <laughs> HealthySlowCounty.com is his website. That's healthy, HealthySlowCounty.com, 805-461-8822. Also, we want to send out our congratulations to Dr. Ryan and his wife. They had a lovely baby boy last week, so he's, in the, he's a dad again for the second time. So uh, if you guys need some help with, uh, if you got sciatic issues, you're looking to try to better your life, become more healthy, check out McGalley Health Group, 805-461-8822. We'll be right back. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on the Golf Talk Radio Network. For real. 